Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome to a sneak peek energy for the month of November. Sneak peek could be a strong energy that might want to come to you. For others of you, just some heads up. And definitely I keep hearing that your spirit guides have messages for you. There is guidance from your spirits. Let's see love. So what that is for, what the energies are, and definitely what we should know that's coming ahead in the month of November. Always, always loves, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm having underneath the King of Swords, the Wheel, Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, the Magician and the Fool. Okay. So what I'm hearing is, for some of you Cancerians, you are not going to wait for the things to flow. You are taking action regards a situation. Even the Emperor is here. This situation is more likely regarding career-wise for some of you, just very few of you, it's family. But many, many, look at this major arcanas here. Many of you, definitely you are in the beginning of a new journey or you are taking charge to something new. And I don't feel here that many of you might say, well, I waited enough or I was looking enough. Yes, you did. For many of you, you could wait for some time to see something, but now you feel like is the time or you can't stay in the energy of maybe or probably or it's kind of you need results you need to know where you're hitting and what you're gonna take but it seems here for for many of you whatever actions you do you are doing well or you are going towards the best energy let's see the Two of Pentacles is in between here, or let's say in the middle. Page of Swords. Yeah, you become the King of Swords from the page. Not looking anymore, not debating any longer, not looking maybe, maybe, or probably will think. Another 10 here, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely I'm picking up very strong work energy. And it seems here there is some kind of offer here you are looking for, were waiting for. Now it's kind of like I'm going to do what I need to do and not going to wait for someone to make their mind or something to come to me. I'm going to go and get what's mine. So again... For those of you who who give your power, you take your power back. Why you were in this Two of Pentacles for such a long time? For some of you, flip the energy could be someone you were dealing. They are not going to wait. Or they are not going to stay, maybe, maybe. Yeah, somebody here is making an active choice. Lovers. Lovers also speaks about Geminis. If you are dealing with one Gemini, you definitely are my make a choice. We have Queen and the King of Swords. And they come back to back. Yes, it's kind of the words or the conversations are not any longer or can take any longer. Two of Swords. And why it's not taking? Because somebody here is not talking. Okay. So again, if you've been waiting for someone and they were not talking, or if you've been waiting something to come, it's not going to come. My apology if I'm so direct. But it seems here that somebody here, either it's moving on or either choose someone else, 
or something else. For others of you work-wise, it's time for you to choose something else. Okay? Yes, absolutely. The sun. I have a Leo energy here. For some of you, there is a renewal that you know you should go towards it. For those of you who leave a connection or someone left, you know things happen for a reason. Okay, Knight of Cups, speak to me here. Ten of Swords. For some of you, you could be the one who who felt stuck or betrayed. King of Pentacles. For those of you work-wise, if you felt that your career is not advancing, is not moving, you need to take responsibility for it. What that means is it's up to you to stay in this energy or to move forward on your own. For some of you, you just need to try something else. Go beyond what you used to do. It's kind of taking out or getting out from that box. You are more than that. You are an extension for what's coming in. The only 10 now missing because we do have the will. And the only 10 missing besides the other 10s is the 10 of Wands. 10 of Wands always speaks about a burden. Something here that you need to let go. Something here that you need to put down. It's too heavy for you, loves. Whatever that is. And also 10 speaks that this journey, it's long gone or ended. Could be ended two, three years ago or even longer. And now is the time. I'm wondering if the tower is going to come because there's somebody here still holding on on certain things, but they shouldn't. Three of Pentacles. There is something here giving you completely new world. Empress, whatever here is giving you, it's definitely growth, expansion. Whatever here is given to you. Many, many of you, you are definitely going to be successful in a different energy. Why are you holding? Let's see here. Why are you still holding on this? Why are you still holding on this? Eight of Pentacles. You invest a lot of your energy. You work a lot for it. For some of you, yes, you know very well your craft. You do. Seven of Swords. And you telling yourself how I can live now when I put so much effort. So that's the, um, the restraining kind of energy. Death. But you clearly know it's time for a change. Death, rebirth speaks about change. It's not like you are cheating on you or cutting off yourself from something. But... Something here needs to change. For some of you, if you are not want to let go yet, it's time to change the vision. It's time to change the way you do work, the way you put in effort, the way you build certain things here. Because the, the old ways doesn't work any longer. Something here doesn't work. And that's why the Spirit is telling you. If you cannot change then fix it or try to make it work because stability is not where is comfort. Wow, what else in this sneak peek your spirit guide wants to bring? Nine of Cups, Moon. Yeah, this is about the comfort zone. Eight of Swords, you you might tell yourself that I'm not sure if I'm able to let go or I'm not sure if this is good for me. This is just an excuse. Six of Swords, and you clearly know. Mentally, it's hard to comprehend because, yes, every time when we're getting out of our comfort zone, that's the hardest time or that's the, the hard thing to process. Knight of Swords, 
spirit is really bringing in to you that once you telling yourself that's it let's go to do something else let's move forward then things are gonna start picking up for you pretty quick knight of swords speaks about quick movement fast movement and sometimes uncontrolled movement so make sure you have balancing the things out advice for you wow the cards just jumped here i will put them back and just shuffle them what advice we have for you loves four of wands seven of wands knight of swords and page of cups and we have ace of swords you only what you need to do now is to be honest with yourself nobody needs to know or explain what you're gonna do or what you want to do it's only about you because for some of you it's just kind of i'm gonna keep this because somebody is this way and that way no loves Way too many people lose a lot in their life because they kind of or they are sticking with all the ways what others are going to tell. Well, others can tell whatever they want. But you, how are you feeling about it? Because clearly you know what to do. Clearly you know where all this is hitting. And at the end of the day, it's you who either it's happy or suffer. Nobody else. And I feel here this is not about uh, honor. This is not about who's doing whatever's doing. It's definitely about you. And yes, we all have our ups and downs. Nothing can be just a straight line. Nothing. So know that, loves. Sometimes we got to start all over. Sometimes we got to do other things to get where we belong. And that's how you are. Right now in the moment or in this month of November. So loves, that's what I have you for you in this sneak peek energy. What also I'm hearing, the things to go the way you want, they need to take a different turn. But the turn you make, no anyone else. See you loves. Bye for now.